Sorry about that, y'all. We all already got a cup and a half of uh, all-purpose flour measured. I just put on in a whole uh, teaspoon of the um, salt, kosher salt, or I use sea salt. Then I'm putting in a whole teaspoon of the baking powder. Very important when you uh doubling the recipe that you look at the right recipe. I mean, the right measurements in this uh, over here to the far left. And you can really get confused. So I'm going to add in the fun stuff. One cup of, this is right, one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chip. Salt, bacon, bacon powder so far. Semi-sweet chocolate chips. This I need to do another. This is a half a teaspoon, uh, not teaspoon, half a cup of the cocoa powder. So I got to measure out another half a cup because it, because it uh requires a whole cup of the cocoa powder. Very careful. I use this one, this cocoa powder too. I want to get some better quality cocoa powder too. This is good for like everyday stuff like brownies but if you want to really scale up your recipe 100 cocoa cocoa they go another half a cup tell this gonna make a lot of brownies <laughs> oh that look good let me take a money shot of that yes lord and so we're gonna combine all those ingredients and um then we're gonna spread it on our in our pan here. We're gonna spread it in our pan. So give me a moment. Well, let me let y'all watch me stir it a little bit. And then I really gotta get into it, y'all. <laughs> I will be back. We got it all nice and combined, y'all. This is some thick stuff. Got oh, got all the good old chocolate chips in there, y'all. It's gonna be woo, woo, woo. And all we got to do is, I got the oven, as I said, preheated on 350. We got our pan prepared. Um, usually they say do a grease pan, but I got this uh, parchment paper-like stuff in there. A hack if you don't have parchment paper, don't be bad, all, not all fancy-like like that, is if you have some air fryer liners, I know more and more people using air fryers. Honey, put some of that down in there. And go ahead on with Miss Tab say about your business, honey. Go ahead on about your business. I'll be liking to kind of clean up as I go. Yep. So I got enough uh, semi sweets to kind of make me some chocolate chip cookies at another time. Probably won't take no more than like a cup of those or something like that. Yep. So we're going to pour this batter right in here. And we're going to get started. I'm going to take it 30 to 35 minutes. And we're going to have us some fudgy brownies. And I got to wait till it cool all the way before I cut, before I cut it. So that's good. I'm getting an early start here. Look at this thing. And I say, I'm going to put this uh, spatula over in there. We're just putting half of this mixture in here. Other half gonna go for other brownies. It's hard to kind of determine if this is enough or not. <laughs> Hair. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's good, y'all. That is good. And I say that is rich. I want this to be even. Of that. That's beautiful. 
and I got my little muffin, I mean, my little, um, uh, what is that, um, my little carry over there, I'm going to take my Tupperware that would fit perfect with those brownies. About to put these in the oven, y'all. I'm excited. Oh, look at that sun hitting those brownies. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be pretty. Oh, put them in there, y'all. I don't know what time it is. Look at that. Well, that's my second pan, y'all. Let me put that on there, too. Mm -mm -mm. Make you want to lick the whole bowl, y'all. The moment of truth, you guys. Let me check these bad boys out. I'm going to get a toothpick and check this. Ooh, what do you know? Oh yeah, this one. This one got a ways to go. <laughs> We're gonna take this one out. That's kind of cool. We can't cut that until it cools, y'all. And cut it to a cool. It look good. It look real good. Look a little bit on the thin side, but as I think this uh this pan a little bit bigger than it was when it was supposed to be. And there you have it, brownies. And I will come out with a video, taste testing video. And a video when I have it cut and stuff. All right. God bless you guys. Happy weekend. Happy Saturday.